Food! It's a beautiful thing, and it's something that we all enjoy in various ways. And no two people have the exact same taste buds. People love it sweet, others love it sour, some like it spicy. But some prefer it plain. It's all good as long as we're fed, right? The catch, though, is that there are some people who eat things that don't exactly seem like they'd be good for you, and yet they eat them happily. From carnivorous plants to fugu, here are 20 deadliest foods people actually eat. Number 20. Carnivorous Plants now I'll begin with one that's really setting the tone for the entire video as a whole, because if you heard that someone is going to eat plants, you wouldn't be all that shocked. There are certain people who will only eat organic food, and plants are obviously a part of that. Not to mention your greens are good for you, so get some inside your body. Plants can be used as medicine in certain ways, so ingesting them is honestly a good idea. But what if I told you that some people actually eat carnivorous plants? You know, like the Venus flytrap, sundews, pitcher plants, and more. These are very special and very weird plants that are literally designed to lure in things like insects and then use special chemicals to break them down so that the plant can feast upon them. It's a lot to comprehend, and even scientists are amazed at what they do. But do people really eat them? Well, yes and no, because not unlike certain animals of the world, you can eat them, but whether you should depends on how much you actually know about them. For example, some of these carnivorous plants have toxins, and that can mess up your stomach. Secondly, not all of these plants can finish their prey, meaning that they can land in you. So while you can eat them, you should be mindful which one that you decide to put in your system. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Fugu. If I told you that fugu was a fish, you'd probably be fine with that. But then if I told you that fugu was another name for the Japanese puffer fish, you might begin to freak out a little bit. That's because it contains tetrodotoxin. The pufferfish, regardless of the region that it's from, is one of the most deadly animals on the entire planet. And I don't make that claim lightly. The toxin that's within is so lethal that even a small amount could kill you if you're not careful. In fact, in Japan, eating the fish was actually banned for 300 years because of how deadly it was. But things have changed or at least they have in Japan. This delicacy is readily available in Japan, and the answer comes down to preparation and experience. Eventually, the Japanese figured out how to literally cut out the toxin of the puffer fish so that people could eat it safely, and thus it's allowed to be served. The catch is that you have to be licensed as a chef to prepare it, and then you must eat it at the restaurant. People are forbidden from preparing it in their own homes. It's actually banned internationally due to these factors, and even the Japanese royal family is forbidden from eating it, no matter what the situation is. Number 18. Aki Another one where preparation and experience is key to both making a great meal and frankly keeping people alive happens in Jamaica. Their national fruit is one that's known as the aki. It's a very special fruit that only grows on the island nation, along with West Africa where it was originally conceived, and the people absolutely love it. They go bonkers for it. And when it's ripe and prepared properly, it's delicious. And if not, you're in serious trouble. But why is that? Well, when the fruit isn't ripe, it has a poison called hypoglycin and it's a very powerful toxin giving people an aptly named sickness known as Jamaican vomiting sickness. Mmm, tasty. At first, it just sounds like a bad stomach ache, but because the sickness is so powerful, it can put a person into a coma or even kill them. As such, you have to wait for them to ripen and then naturally open them, and after that, you must only eat a certain part of the fruit, avoiding the venomous black seeds. 
Due to these steps and restrictions, only certain processed key products are exported to places like America, otherwise it's completely banned. Which may sound like a harsh thing at first, but just think of it this way. After hearing all of this, would you risk trying a fruit if you weren't sure that you got all the poisonous parts out? Number 17. Lychee now we head to India for a very dark tale about a fruit that's honestly really delicious when eaten properly. Isn't that always the case though? Anyways, there's a string of incidents about the lychee from not too long ago because you see there were some children in India that were living near lychee farms and they would eat the fruit and then bad things would happen to them. There were cases of them screaming in pain, going into comas, and dying about 40% of the time. Which is downright horrifying when you think about it. But what in the world is going on? Well, the children were eating the lychee fruit before it was ripe, and just as bad, they were eating them while on an empty stomach. But why does that matter? Well, the fruits have within them something that would cause low blood sugar, and in the bodies of these basically hungry children, that causes all kinds of nasty side effects. The irony here is much richer than you would expect, because when ripe, these fruits can be some of the healthiest around. A cup of lychees is a good source of vitamin C, B2, which is riboflavin, potassium, and copper. But as noted, there is a catch. You can't just eat them alone. You have to have them with other foods, and just as important, they need to be in moderation. Number 16. Live Octopus if you're a frequent attendee at sushi bars and other seafood restaurants, you'll know the term calamari, which is a fancy term for cooked squid. If prepared properly, it can be an incredibly tasty treat, but sadly there are those who take this desire for squid or octopus to the most disgusting levels ever. Because there are some places out there that straight up allow you to eat octopus while it's still alive. And that makes me wonder how the human race has even lasted so long. We do need to add some context here. First off, this is only something you can get in places like South Korea. And secondly, the term alive might be a bit of a misnomer. Technically speaking, the octopus is dead, but the problem with that is while it's being chopped up into what is known as something I'm not about to attempt to pronounce, the tentacles you'll be eating are indeed still moving. So in a sense, yes, it's alive. Now if you're thinking, there's no way that could be safe, you'd be right, because think about it. If the tentacles are still moving, that means they still have a function to do certain things inside of you. And yes, because of that, people have died eating this dish because the tentacles attach themselves to the person's throat and make it so that they suffocate. Bon appetit! Number 15. Kazumarzu now, let me make a guess on something. After that last entry, you're probably thinking there's no way that something else could be so gross. Oh, sweet summer children, if you only knew the horror of what's ahead. And what's coming is Kazumarzu. So what's so bad about Kazumarzu? Well, at first, it's nothing because it's cheese. And I love cheese, you may be shouting, not realizing the twist of fate that's ahead. Kazumarzu is something that's only popular in Italy for reasons that I honestly don't know. Italy is usually really good about making real good food, and yet they have this. But why is it so bad? Well, that's because it's maggot cheese. No, it's not a joke or a metaphor or even a clever nickname. It's what happens, and allow me to break it down for you. What happens is that flies are allowed to lay their eggs in the cracks of cheese, then maggots hatch, making their way through the paste, digesting proteins in the process, and transforming the product into a softer, creamy cheese. Then Italian people who eat the cheese actually swear by how delicious it is, saying that it's completely awesome and that there are no health risks at all. The rest of the world, well, they completely disagree. In fact, it's banned in the world for commercial sale, likely because they don't want to risk anything occurring to those who ingest it. And even Guinness has labeled it as the most dangerous cheese. That's not really something you'd expect to hear, but hey, everyone enjoys something Number 14. Halkut 
Shall I keep grossing you out? Why are you shaking your head? You knew that something like this was going to happen when you clicked on the video? To help your minds and your stomachs, I'm not going to be talking about maggots in this particular entry, rather about sharks. But what's odd about eating shark? Well, nothing if it's just a shark. However, in Iceland, there's a delicacy known as halkut. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What you do is you eat a dead rotten shark that's been buried in the ground for a month and then processed to be edible. But how does that really sound? Why are some of you screaming? Weren't the maggots worse? Well, yes, that is more or less a process of eating a fermented shark, though why the people of Iceland do it is a bit of a mystery. According to them, it's because it helps them to connect with their roots in terms of Icelandic tradition, and others that want the experience so much will go to rather extreme lengths just to have it. Now, if you're hoping that like the maggot cheese, there's a tasty twist at the end, well, then you'd be out of luck. Because even by Icelandic standards, this is a delicacy that absolutely reeks when you're trying to eat it, and those who have tasted it say that it tastes like urine if you're lucky. But hey, you have to do what it takes for tradition, right? Number 13. Cassava now we can see that some of you are really uncomfortable, so why don't I tone it down a bit and get into something a bit more basic? Because now I'm going to talk to you about cassava, a vegetable. And what's more, it's entirely possible that some of you have actually had it in your diet over the years of your life. To be clear, that's 100% fine, because there's no risk of you having had it, so long as it wasn't raw. Which I'm pretty sure is safe in betting that you haven't because you're still alive. But why would I say that? Well, it's because if you eat it raw, you're ingesting something that can truly kill you. That being cyanide. Yes, this vegetable has it within its systems when it's raw. And if you eat it that way, that cyanide is going to kill you. The other thing to note here is that there are two different types of cyanide. One of them is noticeably bitter, and one of them contains a lot more cyanide that will then go into you. So go for the sweet kind of cyanide to hedge your bets a lot more. But honestly, it's really easy to avoid this toxin, and the most easy step is just not to eat it raw. As for doubling down, all you have to do is soak or cook it, and then it'll actually be harmless. In other words, do your due diligence, and you should be fine. Number 12. Rhubarb. This one's likely going to surprise you for a very simple reason that many of you are likely reacting to. Rhubarb is pretty much everywhere these days in terms of food supplies and meals that use them as an ingredient. So have you secretly been eating a poisonous substance for most of your life? Well, not likely, because thankfully it's very easy to separate the bad part of rhubarb from the good. The key is to get rid of the leaves. Rhubarb leaves are considered to be inedible due to their high concentration of oxalic acid. In fact, both the stalks and the leaves contain it, and the leaves have a much higher content. At first, that may not seem like a problem, but there's a couple of catches here that you should know about. In low doses of oxalic acid, your body can cause you to vomit or even have diarrhea. Thankfully, these can clean up within a few hours. However, if you have too much of the acid, it can actually cause you to form kidney stones, which from my personal experience are insanely painful or even lead to kidney failure. The effects of this is honestly well known, and thus people won't actually eat the rhubarb leaves out of fear of potential poisoning. Who knew that your key ingredient had such a deadly second half? Number 11. Elderberry. The elderberry is honestly not that much different from the rhubarb plant in certain ways, the least of which is how the berry bush is known to be both incredibly healthy and yet incredibly poisonous. And thus, people are a bit hesitant to actually consume the berry or certain parts of the bush out of fear of them guessing wrong and then getting sick or worse as a result. So what is the actual truth here? Well, technically, everyone's right on both parts. There are parts of the elderberry bush that are actually very poisonous and other parts that aren't, especially when you consider that there are certain varieties of the berry and each one has their own thing that you should be careful about. The seeds, the stems, the leaves, and the 
roots are all poisonous to humans. They contain a cyanide-inducing glycoside. Eating too much of them will absolutely make you sick. Other variations have it to where the berries are perfectly fine to eat, but the rest of the plant, well, it's poisonous and thus shouldn't be touched at all. And so, the big lesson here. Squeeze it is to just make sure that your elderberries are researched and prepared properly. If you're able to do that, you'll have no problems with them whatsoever, which honestly should be a guideline for all plants that you're not sure about. Number 10, Kidney Beans. Now another one where you might honestly be surprised for the very simple reason that you likely eat kidney beans quite a bit. And some of you may have actually had them today before watching this video or while watching this video. My pet guinea pig Twinkle's having them right now. More than likely you're fine because most of you probably got the beans from the store. And if that's the case, you've got a 99.99% .99 chance of being 100% fine. However, if you're someone who prefers to grow and cook your own to save time, energy, and cash, you definitely need to pay attention. Because if you make a wrong move or decide to get cute with your bean intake, you might be in trouble. Like a lot of foods on this list, kidney beans are ones that you can not eat raw. Even doing this with a handful of them can be detrimental to your health. But what's the secret ingredient that makes these beans so bad for you when eaten raw? Well, that would be lectin. It's a natural protein, believe it or not, and a lot of things have it. But if you have too much of it, it's going to make you sick. And so, you should always cook your kidney beans properly or else. Number 9. Blood Clam Now I'll admit that I had absolutely no idea what a blood clam was before this video, but now that I do, I kind of wish I could forget. You can find this clam in certain parts of China, which makes sense because they have a lot of questionable food choices there. But in places like Shanghai, it's actually strictly forbidden. But why? Well, it's because it can actually contain hepatitis A and transmit other diseases like hepatitis E, typhoid, and dysentery. That's right, if you eat the blood clam, you can straight up get a disease, and nobody wants that, right? Apparently, it's not that simple though, because in Japan, where it's prepared properly, it can actually be a very delicious thing, not unlike the puffer fish that I mentioned earlier. The problem though is that in China it's not prepared properly, and if you look at the stats, over 300,000 people have gotten hepatitis A because of this one food. Hence it's banned, and raids have actually been conducted to keep it out of people's mouths. Number 8. Raw Cashews now I'm bringing back the word raw, because again, I'm talking about a type of nut that you definitely don't want to eat raw, that being cashews. The good news for all of you at home is that the likelihood of actually encountering a raw cashew is slim, because you either have to work in the place that makes them, processes them, or picks them from apples to actually get into contact with them. And anytime you see a cashew at a store, you're probably good. The catch here is that sometimes certain natural food places will actually sell the cashews in their raw form, which to be specific means that they have their double shell on them. That shell actually contains a resin that can create significant skin rashes and can also be toxic when ingested. Oh, and if you think that you've heard of this resin before, you have, because it's the same stuff that's in poison ivy that gives you that rash that gets everywhere if you're not careful. Number 7. African Bullfrog Now I'm not really sure about this one because apparently in places like Namibia, they do eat the legendary African Bullfrog and they rather enjoy it as well going so far as to label it a literal delicacy in the region. So the catch here? Well, apparently, if they take too long to eat them, or if they eat them in the wrong way, it can cause complete kidney failure. That's a lot to take in. It's not exactly clear how it happens, but in this case, should it really matter, it's a food that can literally make you end up on a slab. 
Is it really worth taking the risk just so that you can eat something that might be delicious? Especially when there are plenty of other frogs that you could eat and not have to worry about potentially dying from hours later. Now, I don't think I'm overreacting on this one. I'm just trying to stay alive. Number six, arsenic in apple juice. Now, some of you might remember this story that was all over the news, as it had a lot of people talking for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is when you hear about arsenic, you know that it's something that if you put into your body can actually cause cancer, and nobody wants that. Then there's apple juice, something that millions upon millions of people all over the world consume because of how delicious it is. You're almost stunned to silence. Could it be true? Could apple juice actually kill me? And if so, how is it possible? Sadly, it is true, and proven by the FDA, you can see that there's a loophole of sorts in the guidelines for things like arsenic. There has to be a certain amount in it before it can be labeled as too much, and the problem is that trace amounts can still be deadly, and that's what apple juice has. But how? Well, it's because we get most of our apple juice from China, and they use products during growth that contain arsenic. Number five, canned tuna. Now this next entry is very much like the last one for all of the wrong reasons, because something that was once declared to be good and healthy for you to consume has been proven to be anything but that. Because canned tuna has been found to have potentially dangerous metals within it, specifically mercury, arsenic, lead and tin, among others. Now, while it's true that your body can handle certain metals in the natural sense, it doesn't mean that it can handle all metals. As I just outlined, arsenic is something that you don't want anywhere near your system, and both mercury and lead are just as bad. But who's to blame for this occurring in the fish that we eat? Well, it's me and you and everyone you know. Because the reason that these fish are getting so polluted with metal is because they swim in waters that are polluted with metals to begin with, and they absorb and eat them over time. To be clear, it's not just one brand that's infected. In a study of over 15 brands of canned tuna, they were all found to contain these metals. Number four, Chicken McNuggets. I now head to a place that's sometimes steeped in so much controversy that many wonder how it still exists. I speak, of course, as the bastion of hell that's known as McDonald's. But why are your ice cream machines always broken, McDonald's? We all want to know. Sadly, though, I'm not here to riot about that particular thing, but rather talk about one of the most famous items, the Chicken McNugget. That's because this chicken item has been on the menu for quite some time and is extravagantly popular with people, which goes to show that they don't know exactly what's in them. You see, the chicken, well, it's not 100% chicken, it's more like 50%, and the rest of the ingredients, well, they're synthetic. A lot of ingredients that neither you or I can pronounce and those things are used in items like silly putty and breast implants. There are a lot of jokes that I could make, but moving on. Obviously, McDonald's has gone and heavily refuted that there's anything wrong with the chicken, but would you want to take that risk? You might just have to ask yourself that when you bite into their <laughs> enhanced nuggets. Number three, antifreeze. Now, I'm not saying that people openly drink or consume antifreeze that's in your car. That would be 100% fatal in the right dose, and you absolutely shouldn't do that under any circumstances whatsoever. That being said, it doesn't mean that people aren't ingesting a certain amount of antifreeze without even realizing it. What's more, it's happening in your favorite dessert, ice cream. But how is that possible? Well, it's simple. It's all about getting that perfect scoop. If you make homemade ice cream and you put it in the freezer, it'll do exactly what you think and be frozen afterwards. Thus, you have to let it de-thaw. But many store brands of ice cream don't have that problem. Your ice cream's gonna be ready to scoop in no time flat. But how is that possible? Well, that's because store brands have been known to put antifreeze in the ice cream. But it's not on the ingredients list, you may be crying. Well, that's because it's not going to be. It's defined as an industry standard ingredient, and thus it doesn't have to be on the label. 
Number 2. Raw Milk Unpasteurized Milk Milk for many people is the backbone of what they eat, drink, and consume. It can be found in all kinds of products, whether they're natural or mixed, and many people even have their personal favorites, like 2% skim, low-fat, and mine, vitamin D. But for most, the idea of drinking raw or unpasteurized milk is downright ludicrous because they know it's dangerous. But why is that? Well, while it may look like regular milk, it can actually harbor some very dangerous things that over the span of 20 years, according to the CDC, caused 1,909 illnesses and 144 hospitalizations because they drank milk that wasn't fully processed. The key thing here is that raw milk has bacteria in it. They're in serious trouble. This especially goes for those out there with a very weak immune system. But just imagine that raw milk is being used for products that are shipped all over the world. That could potentially be bad news, and yet people still drink it, including myself. It's rather delicious, actually. But if you do choose to find it and ingest it, just be careful. Number 1. Hot Dogs I'm going to end this one on a bit of a funny note, because while it's not exactly hilarious that people can nearly die from eating a hot dog, it is honestly a bit hilarious that people don't think about it before trying to gorge on them. Because consider this. Hot dogs are the number one cause of food choking in children under three. Hot dogs are a kind of food that people all over the world consume in one form or another, especially in America, where the hot dog is symbolic of being cooked for sports game, being fired on the grill, and so forth. The problem, though, is that for both adults and children alike, they're serious choking hazards because they don't bite down on them enough or chew them up enough, and then they can get lodged in your throat. Research does show that hot dogs are the top cause amongst food-related choking in children under the age of three, and this says nothing of the idiots who try to mimic those hot dog-eating champions on television and don't actually consider the technique that they use to ensure that they don't choke on them. So after all that, do you still want a big delicious wiener? Well, that's okay. Just put it in your mouth the right way. What did you think of this look at the foods that people eat and don't seem like they'd be something worth eating at first? Have you honestly had some of these foods before? And which ones did you enjoy? Or do you have other foods that should be on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.